A new film explores the life and death of Rob Knox, who was killed in a knife attack in 2008. Rob was a young actor who'd appeared in one of the Harry Potter films. This year would have been his 31st birthday, and it's hoped the new film will highlight the problem of knife crime in the UK. Well, joining me now is Rob's father, Colin Knox. Good morning to you. Uh, tell us a bit about Rob. Uh, as a youngster, he was uh, a, a, lovely, a lovely son and a great brother to Jamie. Um, he was uh, very thoughtful of other people and generous. Um, and that's a suit loss. Uh, it's tragic. But, yeah. Condolences to you, and I believe today would have been his 31st birthday. How are you marking the day? Uh, when I finish with you today, I'll be going off to his grave and, as I normally do at Christmas and his birthday, is to take him flowers and uh, have a chat with him. Um, and always say what I say, which are private thoughts. So, um, yeah, it's a very emotional day for me, to be honest. Yeah. Yes, I, I can imagine. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Um, the documentary that's in the making, how did that idea come about? It, it tells the story of his life and how he met his death. Uh, yes, it does. It, 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 it tells you who Rob was, uh, what he was doing midway through the documentary before he was killed, and then uh, the back end of the documentary is about uh, addressing knife crime um, in, in this country. What are you hoping people will take away from this film? Um, the, the awareness of, of, of people using knives as a weapon to kill people. Um, I think the number, as of a couple of months ago, was around about 2,400 people have been killed, not just maimed by knife usage, but killed in this country uh, since Rob's death. And that surprises me because you get fed a daily a person was killed. Yesterday, two people were killed. And you, you forget the collective. And the collective since Rob died, I think it's 2,000, probably now getting on to 2,500 young people being killed by the way of a knife. So what is it that you want to happen? Do you want sentences to be addressed, the length of sentences? I think the length isn't an issue at the moment. The fact is, when people go to court, they, they should be put in a custodial place. I'm not saying prison because that is pretty archaic. It should be a place where people are sent to as a custodial place to, to be for a, a set period. And I'm, I've been challenging the system for years now to have a mandatory six months custodial sentence for carrying a knife. Why are people carrying knives? It's beyond me. And you've set up the Rob Knox Foundation. Um, presumably this is uh, what it's all about, working towards having uh, the law changed in terms of knife crime and highlighting it to the general public. Yes, uh, we've got two strings to our bow at the Foundation. Uh, my ex-wife Sally, which is Rob's mum, um, she now runs the anti-knife crime side of things and I sort of trying to maintain the, the art side that we have. Uh, the, film, the Rob Knox Film Festival, the documentary, and the Rob Knox Film Academy. Um, so, but what Sally does is what I call the dark side of the moon, and, and what I do is the light side of the moon. It's not so heavy, it's, it's the way it is, um, because we have to re realise that 99.9% .9 of young people are good. There's only a, a small fraction that are not good. Um, but, but both need to be one needs to be addressed and one needs to be embraced and the embracement is the art side uh, and with the documentary uh, we're 98% done we're nearly there and all we're looking for now is a distributor <laughs> it's all poking there <laughs> <laughs> well you've advertised for one now uh, when might people be able to see it then as soon as we get a distributor <laughs> Quite okay the the clock is, is, is ticking on that. We wish you very much yeah. uh, uh, all the best of luck with that all. Uh, Colin Knox, thank you very much for Thanks speaking very to much. us this morning.